morning. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say first of all that I give God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. I praise Him now throughout all eternity. It will still never be enough for what He's done for me. I thank you for your prayers this past week because I have felt them. My husband has felt them. Brother John, as you was asking prayer for the young lady, Karen, as you was asked, talking about, we pray, we believe, now let us receive. Amen. I know a lot of you know that I have shared with you that my husband two and a half years ago was diagnosed with an abdominal aorta aneurysm that had grown in January to a, they said to a 5.5, but as a CT scan showed, it was only a 5.3 by 5.4. He's had to go to all these heart doctors and all these doctor's appointments to make sure everything is okay because they said he had a crook in the aorta. Could not do the stent, they want to do the open. The open is more intense, but they say it's better in the long run. He goes to see Dr. Kerrigan on a Tuesday, a heart doctor for the pacemaker to see how well it's working, it's fine. We go Wednesday and he has an ultrasound done on his leg. We thought he was going to do it on the abdominal aorta. They come to find out, he said he was doing it on the legs to see how the arteries and so forth was working in, in those. So after we get done, we go over to see Dr. Sadiq, the heart doctor. And he looks at my husband and he said, you look so much better since the last time I seen you. Yes. Only the prayer and the power of God can do those things. Yes. He began to talk to him and tell him the situation. He said, everything looks good. He said, usually when you have an aneurysm in the abdominal aorta, he said, you have it behind, in both legs behind the knees. He said, but you don't have that. There's no aneurysm in either leg, Brother Dave. And I said, praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That doctor looked at me kind of funny. Being a Muslim. <laughs> That's all right. But I praise the Lord yes. anyway. Yes, amen. And he said, we're going to wait. He said another, my husband said, well, another six months. But he said, Dr. Kerrigan wants me to go have a cardio angiogram done. But he said, we're going to wait, Dr. Sadiq said. My husband said, six months. He said, no, with the size that it is. And I heard him say a 5.2. Remember what I said where we go? Five yes, five And he said, uh, no, we, he said, I want to see you in three months. We'll do another CT scan, he said, in three months. Okay. My husband looked at him and said, do you want me to go ahead with this? He said, it's up to you, but you don't have to. And he looked and he said, if it has not grown, we will not have to do the surgery. I'm believing that it's gone in the name of yes. Jesus. Amen. 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 Because he still, and I thought about what Brother Tom yes. told me yesterday yes. or day before yesterday. He said, we have to sit still and let God do his work. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes we just have to step back and, let, and say, God, yes. it's in your hands and you're in control. Yes. So what happened? I called and I talked to my husband. I said, do you want to have that done? He said, I don't know if I want that run up through my arteries or not. I called Dr. Ishbola. <laughs> and mind you, this, the dream that I had, I had shared with you. But where they were coming to blind me from seeing what God was doing. So I called and I said, I want to cancel that. We don't want to do anything, Brother Gary, till after June the 1st. That's when the other CT scan. And she said, but I don't understand. I'm confused. <laughs> and I said, ma'am, well, this is a different test. I said, I understand that. But why are we doing that test when he says that there'll be no surgery if it hasn't grown? And I can never make her understand that. <laughs> but finally she said, okay, she canceled it. What happened later on that evening? 
I get a phone call. Dr. Ebola's office. Yeah. Well, you canceled. He can't have that surgery till he gets his test done. And I said, ma'am, <laughs> there's not going to be no surgery right now. Right. Finally, I made her understand. <laughs> A prayer of the righteous man will avail as much. Yes. 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 When we become together in prayer, corporate prayer, yes. we're reaching the throne room of glory. Yes. Yes. I, my heart is overwhelmed and so full I can't hardly speak. For who he is yes. and what he's doing, yes. what he's going to do. And it brought me to this scripture, and as I was thinking about it, I couldn't sleep. I was praying and seeking God. And he brought me to this scripture in John chapter 5, where it talks about the pool of Bethesda. Bethesda means house of mercy. And the word says, after this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind, hog, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there that had an infirmity for thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lying and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The Pope man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And in the immediately the man was made whole. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. And I thought about how whole means to be complete. Your spirit, your soul, your body are all aligned, healthy, and positioned towards God. Well means to be healed, and it will make your problem or disease stop. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. And I thought about when the, this lame man had the encounter with Jesus. I believe that something rose up in him. Maybe it was the, the blood bubbling in his soul, you know, maybe of like the troubled, uh, the angel troubling the waters. Sometimes, you know, we get into a situation to where our suffering becomes such a part of our life, of who we are. But at least we forget of who we are in Christ. Can you say amen? amen? We could preserve through the temptations to lose hope. But Jesus is there to help us. He's ready to help us if we'll let him. He'll redeem us. And he'll refresh us. And hopefully begin to stir the waters that's in our soul. Amen. Amen. When we go to him in prayer, we all have painful seasons that we go through. Can you say amen? amen? But we need to invite Jesus Christ to stir the waters and believe what he has in store for us. Yes, amen. If you want to be made well, sometimes we are sick physically. But sometimes we're sick spiritually. Amen. Yeah. 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 We need Christ. Yes. The lame man didn't directly answer Jesus. He told the Lord he had no one to help him into the pool. No doubt he'd been laying maybe on this filthy mat, dirty. Watching, could he have crawled? Was he making an excuse? That's right. Mm. He was feeling years of demoralized or rejected. 
Sometimes we make excuses and we're still laying on our filthy mats. That's right. We become paralyzed and we're stuck, unable to move or to see a way out. But God is already there ordering for us yes. if we'll call upon him. Yes. If we encounter that with Jesus Christ. Yes. He knows exactly what we need and when we need it. Yes, he does. Sometimes we only want our preferred solutions to stay where we're at. Mm -hmm. We don't trust God enough to receive the plans that he has for us and God's gifts. And God's gifts wasn't to not to trust in him. And it wasn't a means to end. They are meant to be a new beginning in our lives. Yes. One of our greatest <laughs> needs in this generation is for Christians, whole Christians, as they expressed it, of 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Mm. The world needs Christians with sound hearts, level heads, yes. open ears, watchful eyes, helping hands, and cautious yes. feet. We will never know the wholeness until we come and counter and yield our life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. amen? I thought about these things and how that the Lord was speaking to my heart. And how we need to pray and we need to seek Him. We never know what somebody is going through. But we need to be able to pray for them and be able to tell them that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. That is our only hope. Yes. That is our only peace that I share with the girls at the King County Detention Center. There was an old gospel song that used to, it was entitled, If I Could Just Touch the Hem of His Garment. Mm -hmm. And how Brian and Barnabas was sitting by the wayside, begging no one to help him along life's weary road. But Jesus came by, and he heard his sad crying, and he reached down his hand and healed him that day. We all need to be in listening to God and to trust him and to know who he is. I'm believing with all of my heart that God has touched my husband. And when I pray for each and every one of you, I believe for you. He says, whatsoever we ask in prayer, believe in Brother Alex, he said that we will receive yes. faith believing. Amen. Yes. And I thought about Brother Tom so many times. We may see a hunger on the street or laying by the wayside and we pass them right on by. But how often do we go over to them and say, can I help you? You may not be able to help them, but you can lead them to the one who can. Amen. Yes. Yes. And I thought about the prostitute. No doubt, maybe she's tired of living the life that she is living. How often do we go over to her and say, can I help you? Again, maybe we not be able to help her, but we can lead her to the one who can. Can you say amen? amen? So many times, honey, we walk down the street and we see so many in need. We see so many hurting and we pass them right on by. So many people, honey, don't want to go over to them because they're afraid of getting their hands dirty. Amen. But what did Jesus do? He came seeking, honey, for those yes. that were lost and those yes. that were hurt. Can you say Amen. amen. <laughs> He is our comfort. Yes, he is. He is our strength. Yes. He is the lifter up of our heads. He is my redeemer. Yes. He is my hope. Yes. He's my God. Yes. And I love him with all of my heart, body, soul, and mind. Yes. And to call him my friend. Yes. Because he's the best friend that I've yes. ever had. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. While we stay where we're at, we've God's got so much more for us to do. I remember being in church and my spiritual mother, how I loved her. She's still alive today. I haven't seen her for a while, but she's around 90 years old. She was such a blessing to me. 
always encouraging, always lifted me up. She came to me, I was standing at the altar and I was praying. And she looked at me and she says to June, she said, your blessings will come as you pray for others. And no doubt I've seen that come to pass because it is such a blessing to see someone healed or to see them delivered from whatever they're going through, Brother John. We always put it off onto somebody else, just like the man, the lame man. He was waiting for someone else to help him. Oh, amen. But why can't you call on Jesus and say, Lord, you help me? I have seen the blessings of God. So many of them. I don't feel like I'm no big time preacher. Sometimes I fail in so many areas. And I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I feel, Lord, what am I doing at the Kentucky Jail Ministry? I don't feel like I'm doing anything in the board meetings. I feel so unworthy. Jesus makes us worthy because he's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes. We are nothing without him. Yes. And when you pray, do you believe? Yes. I have noticed a difference in my husband. I'm waiting for him to lead us to where he wants us to be. And he said, those that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew our strength. Yes. It's time we pick up our mats yes. and we begin to walk in the ways of the Lord. Yes. And to do what he's called us to do, to be obedient to him. Yes. There's people that will discourage you. They'll talk about you and say, well, the Lord didn't do that for you. Oh, yes, he did. Yes. Because me, myself, I sure we can't do it. Amen. Only God can perform yes. those miracles. Yes. Only God can take an aneurysm out of a body. Yes. Only God can heal the cancer, Brother John. Yes. Only God can deliver you, Sister Gary. Only God, Brother Chuck. I have wept and thanked him and thanked him. I got home and I began to call everybody to tell them what God had done. We need to tell this generation who God is and what he can do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so many people have been taught. That's it. But everywhere I go anymore, I give the Lord praise, Brother Tom. Yes. They may look at me and say something, and I'll say, thank Jesus. Yes. 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 The waitress is at the restaurant. I've shared this before. I'll tell them I'm fixing to pray over my food. Can I pray for you? Is there something you stand in need of? Because we never know what they may need. The lame man needed his healing. 38 years he was in this condition. I know Sister Carol, you know, she, Brother John talks to me sometimes and I pray for her. You know, she's had trouble with her eyes some. Sister Linda with her back. But Lord, mm -hmm. only you help them to rise up, God. And to trust in you to know that you are their healer. And you are a rewarder of those who diligently will seek you. Yes. Praise him. Are you still on the mat of despair? Mm. Are you still having trouble? God is your deliverer. Yes, yes.
as I spoke down to the church, yes. take back what the enemy has taken from you. Yes. Let him steal no more. Yes. Because you are more than a cumber through yes. Christ Jesus who loves you. <coughs> I don't want what I had yesterday. But I want more tomorrow than what I've got today. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 There are deeper debts and higher heights with Christ Jesus. Yes. What's holding us back? I talk to some people and sometimes I don't understand and I get so irritated. And I think, Lord, help me. I don't know what they're going through. <clears throat> Let me show them the love and the compassion that you show me. I got a brother-in-law in the hospital right now with pneumonia, spitting up blood. My sister calls me last night. She said, uh, pray for him. I said, okay, I will. I got off the phone and I got to thinking about it. Brother Larry, I went and picked up the phone and I called her and I said, we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. After a while, maybe too late, folks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says to seek him while he may be found and to call upon him while he is Yes. Here. God is your healer. Yes, he is. You'll never know what each and every one of you mean to me. I said, Lord, you know how I love them. You know what they need. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a loved one to be saved, yes. whether it's a physical need, a financial need, whatever it may be, God, grant it to them. And let them feel your presence. I get so excited when I think about my Lord. So excited. I want to do something and I put on my I just want to shake your hand. And tell you that God loves you for the time. Sister Grace, God knows. And he knows your needs. Yes. You know, let God deliver you only he can. Trust him. God cares for you. He loves you and he cares what happens to you. Be obedient when he speaks to you. Yes. Listen to him. Because he's working everything out for your good. Yes. yes. Word tells me, you know, that the enemy will fight in every area of our lives, whether it's sickness like the lame man or whatever. Jesus tells me that they won't prevail. What are you struggling with today?
thank him for his love, his mercy, his saving grace, his goodness, his kindness. I just love him for who yes. he is, for yes. he is God, and he's God alone, and there's none yes. like him. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I know it didn't speak very long, but sometimes it don't take very long for God to get his point across, does it? <laughs> I'd ask prayer, I've been asking prayer about the opportunity to go to Pee Wee Valley. If God opens that door, I'm going to walk through it. Yes. It's time we take up our mat and we walk. Amen. Amen. And we rise and we call him holy. Yes. Amen. Amen. I love you and I covet your prayer still. Yes. But I believe yes. that you're believing with me. Yes. That my husband will not have to see the doctor anymore after June the 1st. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because if he done it once, yes. he can do it again. Amen. 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 I love you. Pray for me. God bless you.